Passing the mile one. Let's run! Everybody's passing me. That's okay. Okay. 12.1 more. Okay. I'm on mile two. And we just, oops, ran up this gnarly hill. Not cool. Anyway, so the most I've run or gone is 8.4, no, 8.5, and I did have to walk, so I'm just in this different. All right, mile three. Feeling pretty good. So I've been calculating in my head. Hey, I just did a 5K. So uh, I'm calculating in my head. The time limit for the run is 18 minute miles. And I've been doing, I don't know, 12 and a half. So I figure the more miles I do, then I can add on more time at the end. When I have to drag my sorry ass. That last mile. Right now I'm looking for a party potty. Because my tiny 55 year old bladder I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Found him. It's going to take a few minutes off my time, but it's a necessity. Alright, got that out of the way. There I go. Alright, so I'm kind of uh, coming up on mile four. Feeling pretty good, except this hill. Who does that? Who puts hills in half here? Okay. The greatest day is today. Okay, so I'm a third of the way through. Wait. Almost the third of the way through. <laughs> you think I can make it? I think if I can make it up this hill. Yeah. Why did they do this to people? Okay. Made it up that nasty hill. So I've been listening to the carpenters because I didn't want to clap too fast. So I listened to mellow music. But now, I'm gonna switch to disc. All right, I gotta beat this guy. I'm beginning to think this race is all uphill. Mile five. Eight more to go. There's music, so that's funny. Hey guys. There's also some more up there. Good job. Thank you so much. Look at all these nice people. They're like volunteering and giving us water. Isn't that nice? I got Gatorade. Mile six. So I'm almost at a 10K. And I'm almost to halfway through. So that's good. And I'm starting to feel tired. <laughs> if I could do that all again and feel like that, Starting to tighten up a little. Not too bad yet. But I'm really grateful for this weather. Oh, well, that looks cloudy. Yesterday I woke up 
and the weather had changed and I was having a terrible, I don't know if it was fibro or arthritis, terrible flare. And that's when my back was kind of seizing up. My back feels okay. I think because I'm not the nail there. And I'm hanging in there. But perfect weather. It's like 60 degrees. Alright. I'm actually going downhill a little bit too. Yay! So at my half way mark, I was at an hour and 20 minutes. So I was doing a 12 minute mile on average, which I know you're saying it's that's so slow, but give me a break here. I mean, maybe other runners are saying that's so slow. But how many 50 or five year old women are out here, huh? So I'm feeling pretty proud of myself. So there. And I was thinking, you know. I pushed out my kids for two hours. I can do another hour and a half, right? But then I remembered something. <laughs> that was over 25 years ago. <laughs> so. Okay, no, okay. No, there is no parking left. We'll see how this goes. You just have a walk there. I'm seven. Over halfway there. So exciting. So I'm on yet another long hill. Coming up on mile eight. So, my last run was last weekend, and I did eight and a half. And I did do some walking, so I haven't walked yet. But this hill is questioning, <laughs> questioning my wisdom. Hey, there's a band. I know there's a downhill after that, but I could just coast. We'll see. Five to go. So I'm actually on a downhill. That's exciting. The one good thing about today, better than last weekend, is I did eat, because I was a really stupid person. And we ran at noon and I didn't eat. Don't do that. Really dumb. Coffee and gummy vitamins, even coffee with cream, does not count for breakfast. So today, I had some bagel and cream cheese, like Grandma Ethel would say. And so, I feel a lot better. Yay! Don't skip breakfast. So it looks like my son finished and he's 29 and I'm not to my nine yet, so they're gonna have to wait a while. But there's a beer garden, so it's all good. Potty break. All right, potty break. And now, so this is the farthest I've run, probably in, I don't know, a decade? So, I'm feeling pretty good. Finally got some downhill. Yes! Only in the northwest would you see this. <laughs> Bigfoot area. I see a Bigfoot, I'm gonna ask if I can ride on his back. <laughs> and since 
since we are in Washington State, we have to be equal and call out the Sasquatch. Thank you. Uh oh. What is that? There he is. <laughs> so those ladies in the pink that I keep showing, we're racing. They pass me, I pass them. They pass me, I pass them. Wonder who's gonna win. All right, mile 10. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. My legs hurt. <laughs> my lungs are okay. But my legs hurt. So now I'm in territory. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Am I going to make it? How much am I going to have to walk? I guess I'll find out. So, I want to take this opportunity to say, don't be dumb like me. Um, if you're going to do a half marathon, train for it. Um, I should have been doing maybe a 12, 13, no, 11, 12 mile run. Probably about two or three weeks ago, at least. And I should have been tapering. And I didn't. And that's stupid, so don't do that. I could probably be going faster. And in less pain, I'd train with. So don't be dumb like me. Mile 11. There it is. Two more. I haven't walked yet except for water breaks and going to the bathroom. So. I think I'm doing pretty good, even for not training. I'm just a stubborn old bat, I guess. <laughs> just got a text from my daughter. It said, woohoo! And those kids, they're one of the reasons I do this. Maybe set a good example. It also keeps me sane. <laughs> All right. Hopefully mile 12 is soon. All right, mile 12. I got a mile to go. I think I'm gonna do it. But, I wanna say, you can do it. Check with your doctor, of course. I started running in my early 20s, over 30 years ago. I ran a quarter of a mile. It was one time around the track. And that's how I started. And then the next time I did a half mile. And I went from there and I've never stopped. Even when I was pregnant, it keeps me sane. I've never stopped. Maybe that's why I can pull a half marathon out my ass. At the age of 55. <laughs> but you know, you young kids, just start. Do it. Don't stop. I never stop. I. I suffer with depression and there's been times I wanted to give up and all I could do was a mile or two but I did it and maybe that was once a week and maybe in the winter when I was super depressed maybe it was once a month but I didn't stop I'm not gonna stop. Start now. Don't stop. You can do it. Five 
can do it. You can do it. I can hear the end. I was just reflecting on the fact that when I was in my 20s and 30s, I'd get up and do all my makeup. <laughs> However, I'm still vain. So I did put on my eyebrows and my eyelashes. And tinted sunscreen, always sunscreen. I gotta concentrate now. I'm slowing down a lot. So I'll we'll see you at the finish line. What is this shit? Go! They put a fucking hill at the end. Just cross mile 13. Yay! 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 Where's my husband? Where's my husband? Yeah. Gatorade. <laughs> we did it! 